Hey there React Native Developers, I am Amit. Today I am going to show you how you can create a custom driver navigation in React Native using React Native Reanimated and React Navigation Library. We will be walking through step by step how to create a beautiful slide out drawer with custom animations and styles and integrate it seamlessly with different screens. So let's get started. Also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to it and let's get started with the video. This boilerplate, I have already given this link in the description which you can check out and you can just clone this repo and then you can start working with me as well as going with the video so what i have did in this is i have created a navigation in which there is a drawer navigator where i have put three screens dashboard history and wish list as you can see in this code and then in the dashboard i have defined a few styles for the list and a search bar and for the other screens i have not defined anything because it's just empty screens but we are going to work on this custom drawer navigator not on these screens so let's go deep dive into that so first we have to do one thing like we have to disable this header bar because right now we can see there are two headers one is for the search bar and the second is default provided by the drawer navigator so how we can do this let's start with this so screen options then we will define some screen options here which will be header shown if we do it false then it will disable the header for these screens as you can see we our header is disabled now and we have only one header right now after this we will change the background color for this drawer and also we will change the background active and inactive color for the tabs so let's do that drawer active background color will be transparent color stored transparent i have defined these colors here in this object which you can see like we will going to use these colors in the drawer and next will be drawer inactive background color we will also make it transparent if you do this then you can see our tab bar background color is now gone and we just have the text and these icons after that we will change the text color so how we can do this there is active tint color and inactive tint color prop in the screen option which can change the color so let's do that drawer active tint color it will be colors dot active and drawer inactive tint color will be colors dot inactive if you do this then we can see that what i did wrong okay there is nothing wrong actually i forgot to change the background color first so let's change that color so drawer style background color and it will be busy if you do this now we can see it properly like this is our active tab these are the inactives and we can also see the icons properly now let's change this overlay color to transparent because if we do that then we can see both the elements in the same time right now we can see that the scene view is kind of have some opacity which we can see so let's disable that so it will be overlay color and we are going to define it colors dot transparent if we do this now you can see like this both the scene and screens are showing like this like this is only single view and not two views which are going back so now let's start working with this screen so with the drawer navigator we get a hook which we can use for the progress of the drawer like when this is the progress like this is 50 percent this is 100 percent or this is zero so we will use that progress value to animate our scene view and then we will use that to animate it so let's start building that so i will create a component in this drawer scene wrapper so in this component i'm going to use the used out progress progress and then i will use that animate use that to animate this so let's start then if we it's normal drawer screen wrapper so let's wrap our dashboard first right now it will do nothing it will just 
hide out everything and we'll show a text like this so for that we have to do one thing we will get we get the children from this group and we will show the children so now whatever we are passing inside these tags that will be shown in the screen as you can see but we still have the issue we will make the styles for this const styles styles filters and let's create a container with flex one and wrap it with style if we do this then our view will be properly rendered and we can see this properly and if we click on this then it will work same as it is as it was previously so now let's use the property first let's make this view a animated view and we are going to import the animated from the react native animated React native reanimated and now let's wrap it nothing is changed it's still the same view we are not using anything and now we are going to build this we will get the progress from use drawer progress this is an animated value and we have to animate according to this so let's create an animated style const animated style is equal to use animated style this is a hook from the react native reanimated which gets the animated value and reanimate and progress and it reanimates the styles so let's do that transform so what we are going to do, do is we have to do two or three things in this animation styles first we have to scale it down to 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 percent 0.9 value and then we have to rotate the view to 25 to 30 percent in negative and like minus 30 degrees and then we will see like how it goes let's let's do the scaling first scale we will use interpolate and then interpolate progress inputs are 0 and 1 and output will be if it is not open 0 then it will be scaled to 1 if it is open then it will be 0 0.8 and we will also use the clamp so it doesn't go away from that. And let's use this. Okay, we are not getting response we are expected, but to use the background net value, then I think it should give us the response. yeah so we can see now like we are scaling it down and the view is pretty much not looking good right now so let's start building with the background color so for that we have to add the background color for the scene and we can do is in this screen options in the drawer that will be scene container style and background color colors don't be easy if we do this then we can see like our 50 percent work is almost done we can see our view is here and then it is animating properly now let's add some border radius to the view actually do we need border radius do we need it let's do it border Radius it will be 20 and overflow will be here to the text now time. That's it. Let's do this. Now it looks beautiful and we can just ship this app. We don't have to open anything else or do any more work on this. This is good now.
<laughs> let's let let's rotate this first and then we are good with it so rotate we will rotate the rotate y y angle because this is the value which we are going to rotate not the x line x value or horizontal so let's do that interpolate progress dot value 0 to 1 it will be 0 and minus 0 0.2 and also it will be clear let's do this and see what happens nothing is changed Something changed or nothing changed. Zero degree minus twenty five degree. It should do something, do something. It's not doing something. Let it be. Let's make it zero point two. First, we will cover other things and then we can just work on this. So let's make the drawer width to 60% because right now it, the drawer is containing our major part of the screen and the main scene view is going outside of the screen. So how we can do this? In the drawer style, we will set the width to 60%. Or 69. 60%. And now our view is more visible. If you want to do more, then we can use 50. It's totally dependent on you. but that will also cause some issue with the text so 60 is good also we are going to hide these status bar when the drawer is open so how we can do this hide drawer hide status bar op on open and let's do it true so now as you can see we have the proper view we have the drawer we have the scene view and we have the animations but one thing we don't have in this code is the perspective. We don't have perspective in this code and we have to add that to make the rotation works. So let's add that perspective. It will be 1000. So what is perspective? Perspective is like an angle of camera, like camera angle where we are viewing the screen. So when we set it thousand, it will see the screen from that angle and when we are rotating it. so it will connect both these things and then we will see the nice rotation so if i add perspective to 1000 and do this then you can see the rotation is working properly now but we also have one thing which can crash the app like let me show you how it will crash so if we right now our code is complete but when we wrap it for the history screen let's say drawer screen wrapper and then do this then it will crash and why it crashed because interplate can change the values from numbers but for the rotate y we need it to be a degree it it needs to be a string so how we can do this we will wrap it inside this little string and then we will add degree at the end and when we add, are adding degree it will be not 0 0.2 it will be minus 10 because now we are using degrees so if we do that you can see now this list is not in the part of that history is you can see history is rotating and when we open the dashboard it is working for us too you can use translate x to 100 if you want to see more part of your scene view and but i think 60 is good yeah it is working so that's all for this video if it helped you even one percent then please do like the video and if you have any questions do comment on it also please share it with your friends and also do subscribe to the channel